moonlighters. One morning, two moon creatures, Biblock and Hoblock, were out for a stroll when they saw something lying in the moon dust. Neither Biblock nor Hoblock knew what it could be. They decided after much discussion to leave the strange object where it was. Then they went back to their moon city and asked their computer what he thought it might be. The computer studied the object carefully. I think it's something the Earth people made a long time ago, said the computer. Oh, no, no. No, that's not it. No, no. No, no. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. No, that's not it. Ah, a lighter. Now let's see. Hmm. Oh, lighters can be very dangerous. Children should never touch them. They can cause fire, and fire can destroy buildings and burn people. Long ago, here on the moon, we learned how to live without fire. In those days, we moon creatures used to live in cold, dark holes under the ground. Everyone had to use fires to keep themselves warm. Sometimes they didn't work very well. <laughs> now we live in a modern moon city, warmed by the sun. <laughs> Biblock warned Hoblock that they had better not have anything to do with the dangerous Earth object, and it was a good thing that they had not touched it. Hoblock agreed. But that night, when all the other moon creatures were asleep, Hoblock crept out to where the lighter was lying. He wanted to know if all the things their computer had told them were true. He soon found the lighter again and secretly took it back to the moon city. <laughs> soon the whole moon city was ablaze, just as their computer had warned. Hoblock, of course, was in terrible disgrace. And all the unhappy moon creatures had to return to their deep, dark holes underground. While they rebuilt their moon city, Hoblock was given the job of repairing their computer, something that was going to take a very long time. And because everyone was so cross with Hoblock, they never came to visit him. except his little sister, Hiblik, who brought him sandwiches every day. And every day, Hoblock repeated the same warning to her. Never play with lighters. And never play with matches either. And grown-ups, keep lighters and matches away from children.